What's up YouTube, this your man, Big B Production Hunter. I have an awesome video for you guys tonight. Tonight in this short video, I want to show you guys how you can save you some space on your iCloud. So with that being said, let's begin. Now, I know you guys and myself, I know I've done it in the past. And I'm doing it now. <laughs> That's the reason why I'm making this video. Anyway, when we tend to use our iCloud to do our backups for our iOS devices, it backs up repeatedly over and over and over and over time you can build up a lot of storage that's being taken up by old backups so with that being said I'm gonna show you guys how you can go inside your iCloud and delete those old backups and start fresh with a new backup you should be able to see my iPhone 6 plus here on my Mac with that being said let's go to settings so just follow along once you're inside settings I want you to come down to where it says iCloud now from there you'll see you have your storage right now mine is 13.3 gigabytes available just tap on that now you have your total storage you're available and your manage let's go to manage all right hold on one second let me get some water i'm kind of thirsty uh oh that's bad anyway once you're there you'll see that you have um well you'll see that i have brian features iphone 3.4 370 and 21.4 now those are old backups I'm gonna tap on the first one which is a 3.4 and you see that's way back in April 28 2014 I'm thirsty is here right now on the way I didn't even work out but uh, anyway the backup size is 3.4 gigabytes that's a lot let's just delete that like so and we're gonna turn off and delete it's going to do its thing here. You'll see it's deleting. And that's done. We're going to come down and do the next one, which is 370. Now, in some cases, some people like to do their backups through iTunes. That's fine. I do that too as well. Sometimes I use iTunes. Sometimes I just use the iCloud. It's up to you. But if you do use your iCloud, this video is for you. And we're just going to delete and turn off like so. Just delete everything. And the last one, I'm going to delete that as well. Now, I know you're probably like, wow, we're deleting everything that we backed up. Why? Remember, I said we was going to start fresh. So now that we have everything deleted, you can do a fresh backup of your whole iOS device. Start fresh. That's what this video was for, to show you guys how to delete the old backups and start fresh with doing a new backup. So therefore, you can have more space on your iCloud. Now you'll see that it says that I have 17.1 gigabytes available of 20 gigabytes, and that's my iCloud. Not my iPhone, the iCloud. So with that being said, you guys can just start fresh and do a new backup now. You can go back, and of course, you want to make sure you have your iCloud and everything drive and your photos and everything turned on so that you'll know exactly what it is you're backing up. And in my case, I have my mail, my contacts, calendars, and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, you just want to make sure that you have all this stuff turned on and do your backup. Like I said, either through iTunes, which that's most likely probably what I'm going to do now, or you can just do it through iCloud. I like to do it through iTunes because the simple fact you can back up a lot more when you use iTunes versus with the cloud. You're only limited to like certain things you can back up. So with that being said, this is your man, Big B Production 100. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you all enjoyed this video, which if you did, I'll let you.